Every day, we hear about the challenges facing the world. High levels of inequality, conflict and insecurity, climate change, These affect us all, but the world's poorest are often hit hardest. Too often, stories of failure hide the fact that, despite these challenges, we live in an age where more progress has been made than at any other time in human history. The world has become better, not yet for everyone, but for far more people than ever before. In the last decade, the number of low-income countries has fallen dramatically. Worldwide, the proportion of people living in extreme poverty has almost halved. But progress isn't just about economic growth. Many countries have made great strides in providing essential services like health and education and in improving environmental sustainability. To find out where, how and why this progress has occurred, researchers working on ODI's Development Progress Project have so far explored more than 20 case studies of progress from leading performers to those less well known. In Bangladesh, educating girls and empowering women, combined with government leadership and partnerships with NGOs and donors, have boosted child immunization by 87 percentage points, while at the same time, life expectancy has increased by over 20 years in less than 15 years, Ethiopia has seen a five-fold increase in primary education enrollment and has almost achieved gender parity thanks to improved planning and increased investment, along with growing awareness of its benefits among parents. And Costa Rica has become a pioneer in forest conservation, having virtually eliminated deforestation through effective legislation backed by direct financial incentives offered to private landowners. So why does this all matter? In the next phase of the Development Progress Project, we plan to deepen our understanding by exploring three key questions across a further 25 case studies. Understanding what has made life better in some countries can help support further progress both there and elsewhere. Collecting and sharing this evidence can show how hurdles in development can be overcome. To find out more, go to developmentprogress.org.